Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Rye Free Reading Room Tales for Tots program. Uh, my name is Granny Jean, and I certainly hope that you'll uh, join us and, and nannies and mommies and, and daddies and uh, participate and uh, <clears throat> can encourage your children uh, to uh, participate to uh, most important for their uh, benefit of this um, uh, uh, fun time. So here we go. You ready? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Yes, and now you can start doing this on a Monday. So that's kind of nice that they moved it to the calendar on Monday. And uh, <clears throat> uh, this will give you another off a day more of, of being able to watch it. But you can watch it anytime. Absolutely. So here we go. <clears throat> I have an ABC train. Look at that. What are ABCs? Huh? That's the alphabet. And that means that all these little letters are make up words. That's right. We put them all and scramble them together and make a word. Wow. We say our words, right? We use our words to talk, right? So let's go. This is a fun train song. Here we go. You ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Come on, everybody. You can even clap. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Z sort of cut off there, isn't it? Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? <clears throat> Can mommy or daddy help you find the letter that your name starts with, huh? If your name is Susie, it would be an S, right? My name is Jean, so there's my J. Yeah. How about Michael? Right. So those, that's what letters are. They mean something, don't they? Absolutely. Well, I'm happy. Are you happy? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. But if you're sad and you know it, cry big tears. <laughs> If you're sad and you know it, cry big tears. Oh, if you're sad and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're sad and you know it, cry big tears. Oh, but if you're sleepy and you know it, give a big stretch. Oh, if you're sleepy and you know it, give a big stretch. Oh, if you're sleepy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're sleepy and you know it, give a big stretch. Ah. But if you're shy and you know it, hide your eyes. If you're shy and you know it, hide your eyes. If you're shy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're shy and you know it, hide your eyes. But if, if you're silly and you know it, tickle your tummy. If you're silly and you know it, tickle your tummy. If you're silly and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're silly and you know it, tip your tummies. But if you're mad and you know it, stamp your feet. I don't know. How about making a pout? If you're sad, mad and you know it, make a pout. If you're mad and you know it, make a pout. If you're mad and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're mad and you know it, make a pout. <laughs> but if you're happy and you know it's clap your hands if you're happy and you know it clap your hands if you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it if you're happy and you know it 
clap your hands. Yay, good job. Well, Wizzy Wizard has a tip for all our caregivers today. Wizzy, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm fine, Granny Jean. Now, one of the big important, one of the, one of the main important uh, factors of reading to your children is getting them to know how books work. And when they're babies, they'll bat at the page as you uh, have to turn it, trying to turn it themselves. And then when they're a little bit older, they'll start uh, turning the pages themselves, maybe even reading, pretending to read the whole story to themselves. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, it, it's a very important thing and it will benefit your child uh, as they get, you know, say four or five, if you run your finger along some of the text uh, so that they can maybe connect what you're saying and with what the, the words are. Uh, and, and, and the words are helping to support the activity, not just the uh, pictures. So here, and it's called the print awareness. So here we go. Bye-bye. Well, let's see now. Talking about words, Little Sophie is a mouse, and she's an only child until her mommy comes home from the hospital. Hmm? Sophie, use your words, Sophie, by Rosemary Wells. Now, Sophie knows words, but when that little baby comes, I think she starts acting a little bit of a baby herself. What do you think? You tell me. Use your words, Sophie. Sophie's mama brought home a small bundle back from the hospital. In it was a, a brand new pink nosed baby. Her name will be Ashley, said Sophie's mom. And there's that teeny little mouse of a baby. And Sophie's not sure about that. Sophie's daddy clattered in the front door with the changing table, the bassinet, the stroller, and the bathtub. Sophie, he said, say hello to your new sister, Amber. Oh, we decided on Ashley, said Mama. Amber, said Daddy. Sophie said hello to her new sister in jellyfish language. Jadi, 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 It was time for Ashley Amber's lunch. Sophie told her sister how to use the big girl cup. <laughs> use your words, please, <clears throat> Sophie. Ashley Amber was swaddled up for her nap in her bassinet. She smiled sweetly. Nap time for Sophie too, said Sophie's mama. Does Sophie look happy about that? <laughs> but this was one day of Sophie being too old for naps. No, 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 growled Sophie in hyena language. Use your words, please, Sophie, said Sophie's daddy. Sophie's daddy tucked Sophie into her big girl bed and he put her sparkly iguana on the pillow next to Sophie. Rest time, darling girl, said Sophie's daddy. Sophie sang the baboon national anthem in her bed as loud as she could possibly sing. In the next room, Ashley Amber woke up. <clears throat> she yelled so loud, Sophie had to put on her space helmet. Daddy had to call Granny. <clears throat> Granny said she'd come right over. <laughs> Sophie said hello to Granny in space language. 
Use your words, please, darling girl, said Sophie's mama. Granny said hello, Sophie and Martian. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> Grandma can play the game too. <clears throat> now, what's this baby's name? Granny asked. It's going to be Samantha Marie, said Sophie's mama. <clears throat> Daddy did not like the name Samantha Marie. He consulted his name book. Meet Symphony Pearl, said Sophie's daddy. First, said Granny, let's see if we can quiet her down. Mama tried feeding Samantha Marie Symphony Pearl, but she wasn't hungry. Wah, 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 wah. And daddy changed Samantha Marie Symphony Pearl, but she didn't want to be changed. She howled like the queen of the howler monkeys. Wah, 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 wah. Even Granny couldn't find the off switch for the baby's siren. Then Sophie took off her space helmet and used her words. Give her to me, please, said Sophie. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, we can't do that, said Sophie's mama and daddy. Good idea, said Granny. Granny gave Samantha Marie's Symphony Pearl to Sophie. Sophie used her words again as she sang to the baby. No one could hear Sophie's words except her new baby sister. Suddenly the room was quiet. <laughs> What did you say? asked Mama. Oh, what did you sing? asked Daddy. Oh, easy, said Sophie. She wants to be called Jane. So I sang to her. Jane, Jane, you're a pain. Jane, Jane, you're a pain. Now she's happy. <laughs> Now she's Jane, said Granny. <laughs> yeah, new babies sometimes can cause a little bit of an uproar in the house, just can't they? But they're pretty special. Well, I said that we would sort of look at a, an ABC book, and here's one by Bruno Munaris. And it's the ABC. Here's the big A. What is that? And here's a a B, pilot, and C. And there's a cat. So let's see, we'll only go through a few of them. And then maybe you can find an alphabet book where your letter of your name is, huh? So let's start with A. A, what do you see that starts with A? An ant, you see the little ant on the stem of the apple? A for apple, an ant. Oh, what do you see? B, big, blue, butterfly, <gasps> book, banana, all those B words. Do we have a Barbara, huh? Do we? How about a Bart? <laughs> ah, C, you see the C? For a crow, a cup, a candle, and a cat in a cage. All oh, C words, look at that. How about D? That comes next. Ah, D is for drum. Ah, dish, dog, and door. Those are all D words. Let's see, let's go to the, let's go to the M. M, there's an M for matches and monkey, and mouse, right? And how about an O? O, can you make an O with your mouth? O, Jean, Jean, Granny Jean can make an O with her mouth. Or owl, an onion, and an orange, right? So this is an ABC book, but we won't go through it all. Let's see. 
at the very end is a Z. Wow. <clears throat> and all it is is just a zzz for buzzing fly. <clears throat> and what? <clears throat> Why <coughs> is for a yacht, which is a boat, a beautiful big boat. But that's an ABC book. <coughs> and that's what words are made. <coughs> well, let's see. Let's take the ABCs off. <coughs> and we'll. Whoop. And we'll go out to the countryside <clears throat> where there's a farm. And it looks like someone is growing what? <clears throat> watermelons? Right. Growing watermelons. <clears throat> <clears throat> so sorry. <clears throat> Down by the bank where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother will say, did you ever see a fly wearing a tie? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother will say, did you ever see a whale with a polka dot tail? Down by Bay. Down. What's the matter with you, Granny Jean? Down by the bay where the watermelons grow. Back to my home. I dare not go. For if I do, my mother will say, Did you ever see a llama eating his pajamas? Down by the bay. Down by the bay where the watermelons grow. Back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say, did you ever see a bear combing his hair? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say, hmm, did you ever see a moose? Whoops. Kissing a goose, woo! Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say. Did you ever have a time when you couldn't make a rhyme? Down by the bay, down by the bay. Oh my goodness, what a silly song. I love it, I love it. <clears throat> oh my goodness, it looks like an earthquake here. Let's put that house back up there though. Here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, now that uh, springtime is really well into its um, second, uh, third month here, what's happening or second month actually, um, a lot of bugs are out there, right? And they're little fleas too. So your animals are gonna come in with some fleas if they go outside. <clears throat> <clears throat> so here, pretend you have a little flea and see if you can find your toe and put that flea on your toe. And now you're gonna creep up your leg. Creeping, creeping, little flea. Up my leg and past my knee, where's your knee? To my tummy, now he goes. Past my chin and to my nose. Now he's creeping past my chin. To my tummy once again, down my leg and past my knee. To my toe, that little flea. Gotcha. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> so let's see if we can do that one again. Put your little flea on your toe. Creeping, creeping, little flea, up my leg and past my knee, to my tummy, now he goes, past my chin and, where's your chin? And to my nose. Now he's creeping past my chin, to my tummy once again, down my leg and past my knee, 
to my <clears throat> to my toe, that little flea. Okay, what do we have here? Well, it looks like it's the sun is setting, isn't it? Oh, people are going home. I see a fire truck, and I see a. We did have a train, right? That's already gone off the mountain. And that's gone home, and there's a red car coming down the road there. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get that in the picture here. There we go. That might be a someone's mama coming home, and I see a big jumbo jet. So I have a book today about good night engines, little toy engines, and also real engines. Yeah, real engines. So good night engines by Denise Bordenson. <clears throat> And here we are, <clears throat> little boys in his pajamas. <clears throat> and he's <clears throat> playing a little bit with his, his toys in his room before he goes to bed. There he is. Locomotive whistle wind, engine thunders down the line. That's a real train, isn't it? Yeah. Sunset glowing in the west. There's his toy. <clears throat> Engine slowing, wheels at rest. There, see the train is going into the <clears throat> yard where they all stay at night. <clears throat> Trucks with 18 wheels below, mighty engines in a row. <clears throat> Oh, here's a real one on the road. <clears throat> there he is. He sees the town up ahead where he's going to have supper. Neon truck stop up ahead. Big rigs rolling off to bed. Yeah, a lot of them stop over, have dinner, and, and they sleep in their trucks overnight. Ah, jumbo jet plane cleared to land. Ooh, look, he has his plane. And he's pretending to... <clears throat> go into the airport, to land at the airport. Now here's a real one, downward roaring turbo fan. Oh, they do make a lot of noise, don't they, when you're nearby. <clears throat> Wheels on runway in a rush, grinding, stopping, resting, hush. It's always so much of a relief when I hear those wheels stop. Fire engine, work is done to the station. End of run. There's a little toy. See it? Yeah, I'm gonna put his toy away. <clears throat> Silent engine, safe at home. Scrub down hoses, shiny chrome. Look at that. I read that backwards. <laughs> Cars are creeping homeward bound in the city, in the town. There are his cars. He knows who's coming home. Maybe his daddy or, or a caregiver taking care of him, a babysitter. Engines humming, stop and park, quiet resting, almost dark. There's that little red car there. Wonder who's in it. Ah, all the engines slumber deep. <laughs> Close your eyes and go to sleep. <clears throat> there, mommy came home. <clears throat> Turn off motor, switch off light. Tired engine. Say good night. And what did he go home to go to bed with a little red car? Look at that. <clears throat> well, I should have left that train up. Forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> what did I do with everything? Okay, here we go. Okay, so let's. <clears throat> 
come on, let's get the, let's at least get the part of it back. There, there we go. I'll put part of it back. And where's the red caboose? I need the red caboose to be the last one. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> now, all the trains were steam engines, which were very dirty and noisy, but they were you, they were so much fun to hear. They were they were so noisy too. <clears throat> Right? Pretend you are on a train. Come on, everyone, get on my train. Okay, and this is these are the big rods that push the wheels. Here comes the choo-choo train chugging down the track. First it's going forward. Now it's coming back. Now the bell is ringing. Ding, 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 ding. Now the whistle blows. Woo, woo. What a lot of noise it makes everywhere it goes, right? <clears throat> and that's why they were called choo-choo trains, because that's just how they sounded. Of course, there are very few of them now that are run by steam, right? They pour the coal in into the big, big fireplace there called a boiler, right? You boil up the water and then the steam and the cinders and everything would fly out. <clears throat> Oh, here we go. You ready? Come on. Woohoo. Come on. Here comes the choo choo train chugging down the track. First, it's going forward, mean way over. Now it's coming back. Now the bell is ringing. Ding, 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 ding. Now the whistle blows. What a lot of noise it makes everywhere it goes. <coughs> have you ever had a bunny? Huh? We used to have bunnies here a long, long time ago when my children were little. And I love the pictures of this. And, and this is Bunny and Me by <coughs> Adele Greenspun. Look at that. She took some pictures of her baby and a bunny. And it's very simple, but it's very sweet. And Bunny and me. And there. And there. <clears throat> I see a, what is that? A basket. Baby sees Bunny. Ah, Bunny sees baby. Baby touches Bunny's nose. Bunny touches Baby's toes. <clears throat> baby pops bubbles. Bunny pops bubbles. <clears throat> Bunny wears beads. And baby wears beads. Bunny kisses baby's doll. Baby laughs. Baby opens a book. Bunny wants to look. <clears throat> Baby chases Bunny. Bunny chases a ball. Bunny hops away.
come back, Bunny. Bunny's not very happy about that. Hmm? <clears throat> Where are you? Now that's the most adorable picture I ever see. I've ever seen. <clears throat> Is Bunny behind the tree? Is <clears throat> Bunny uh, in the bushes? <clears throat> Is Bunny under the bench? Is Bunny in the basket? There's Bunny! <clears throat> Bunny is in the basket. Funny buddies. Baby and Bunny. Baby buddies. Oh, here they are. Good friends. <clears throat> well, let's see what we have here. We have a fun, <clears throat> we have a fun um, song. Some of you may remember this from the last time. I see a great big spider web. Do you? <clears throat> a big spider web. And I see an elephant. Now, how silly is that? One little elephant went out to play on a spider's web one day. He had such enormous fun. He asked another elephant to come. Oh, how many? Two. <clears throat> Two little elephants went out to play on a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun. They asked another elephant to come. How many? Three. Three little elephants went out to play on a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun. They asked another elephant to come. How many? Four. Four little elephants went out to play on a spider's web one day, they had such enormous fun, they asked another elephant to come. How many? Five. How many fingers do you have on your hand? Five. <clears throat> well, let's pretend we're elephants. Can you stand up? Hmm? I can't, Riley, or, or you wouldn't see me. So here we go. Put your arms like this out and then Swing it back and forth like a big elephant trunk. Trunk is his nose, right? An elephant goes like this and that. He's terribly big and he's terribly fat. He has no fingers. He has different toes. But goodness gracious, whoop, what a nose. Come on, let's do that one again. The elephant goes like this and that. He's terribly big and he's terribly fat. He has no fingers. He has different toes. Goodness gracious, what a nose. It's a very helpful nose, I'll tell you. He can help him take a bath. He can suck up water like a straw, right? Wash his back. He can pick big logs up with it. He uses his trunk to pull leaves off trees to eat. His, his trunk is a very handy thing. <clears throat> well, I think it's time for our bye-bye song. And <clears throat> so goodbye to my little elephants and goodbye to the watermelon farm. Goodbye to the trains and the engines. It's time to say goodbye. And bye-bye to Sophie and her baby. And bye-bye to Granny Jean. And bye-bye to all my friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs>